down to the boat. Now this one, yeah. Okay. Big chain, huh? Jesus Christ. Need that too. Use the same for the Macare. Eh? Huh? For, for the hold of Macare. Eh? <laughs> for the pull it. <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> These are the anchors. One on each corner, like one here and one here. Right, right. And two more on the back side. And they'll run the anchors out. So when you when, when you come into the rig, right? Yeah, when you come to you, a platform. You pull this off. Yeah, they'll set the anchors and then they'll like the two up front that are back there, they'll pull. And these they let off of to where you just pull up the you know pull the rig up under yeah, control. Yeah, because yeah, both kind of get very closer to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These tanks just hold like cement. Cement. And, yeah, mainly cement or bayrite chemical. Mix in the mud. Jesus. From the top of the window, doesn't look as that big, but it's huge. It's yeah, a big yeah. platform. See, when this is skidded in, you know, there's no room here at all. It's all yeah. the way up. So now it's pulled back. It's almost all the way out. It's like 70, 70 feet right now. You can go maybe another 10 or 12 feet out. <laughs> yeah, from the top of the window, it looks small here. Yeah, <laughs> but we come here, it's just like Jesus Christ. What's the leg height? Is it 120, 160 meters? Well, uh, it's in feet, it's like five, 540, I think. 540 feet. Okay. Shit. Derek is, I think, 212, two, or 240, something like that. Yeah. Well, I've got to roll down somewhere. So when you're drilling, actually you operate or your um, usually, assistant? Usually the driller will operate. I will, I will just be a supervisor. <laughs> I, I, you know, I will relieve the driller sometimes. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, I can't remember where it is now. See the laser? Ah, who's there? <laughs> That's the fucking driller. <laughs> So it's like 102 feet. You see the big board there? Yeah. That's 102 feet. 102. And then at the top of it, maybe two, 240, something like that. Hey. Hello. Hey, how's, how's it going? going? We're taking a tour. Uh -huh. <laughs> Quite a bit higher. Oh, <laughs> just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> so we can go all the way up there. We can go up to the rig floor and look around and work our way back down. Okay. See, the problem with the poles and shit, like say one man, one man does it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then somebody else sees him do it, so they do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then pretty soon everybody's fucking around. Yeah, I wouldn't do that because there's no seeds. Let's go through here, we see some. Uh, And especially like the, the guys working, you know, like say on deck. Yeah. We talked about this. this uh, so a lot of times they go, they still got Wi-Fi out here, so they'll they'll get it and they'll be fucking yeah. around, you know. You see, I, I'm different because I'm in the kitchen all the time, you know. Yeah. So I know coming here with my phone occasionally. <laughs> so this this is uh, what we make uh, hydraulic pressure with to operate the BOP. Oh, right. Okay. You so know, is that BOP want, that big want, valve? If you want to close the BOP, okay. You know, you need a uh, hydraulic volume. So all this. This tank is fluid and it pumps up pressure and all these bottles yeah, hold the pressure. Right. So is that new BOP what's coming in? Is that going to be enough power to operate it? Yeah, yeah, this will have plenty. Control, things like control for your annular. Right now everything is off. Yeah, yeah. And all the pressure, you know, there's no pressure nowhere. Since all these bottles are empty. Since you start drilling. Yeah. But that's a lot. All this hydraulic fluid. The shitload. Yeah. <laughs> See right now it's almost 
<coughs> it's almost full <coughs> okay. of uh, oil. All right. So when it pressured up, everything's pumped up, it would be down maybe there. Down to here. But these bottles have maybe 3,000 PSI then. Each one? Yeah. That's so we, each, you know, all this volume goes into the, the bottles. So now it's, it's uh, stored pressure. Okay. So let's say, for, let's say if, you, if you have a breakdown, you know, fucking uh, no more power. Yeah. Uh, you still, if you still need to function VOPs, you have all this reserve. All right. You know? So it's quite, quite lots of them, huh? I think, I think it's like uh, 10 gallons, right? 10 or 11 gallons of pressure or <coughs> oil per bottle. And you have like 80, <coughs> 80 bottles times 10 gallons. It's a lot of fucking oil. That's a lot of oil. When you have a leak, it's fucking everywhere. <laughs> Cement unit. So that where they're mixing cement? Yeah. This is where they yeah they mix cement. The pump is upstairs, but uh, and then in here is a diesel engine for the pump. But this is this is mainly the, the actual pump, but the, over here is the diesel uh, the diesel engine the, oh. for the power to run the pump. Quite a big deal. Yeah. yeah, that's a big one. Eh? But this is uh, Slumberger, Slumberger equipment. Uh, Slumberger is quite good. And they're one of the main main cementing companies, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I think they're, it's Halliburton. They're, um, they Halliburton do cement does also, cement also, but uh, this rig has always had Slumberger. It depends on the contracts, you know. Yeah. So all the has got the new new shape rig. It's got all the same equipment, pretty much. Uh, probably so. But it's, uh, a lot of it depends on where they're at in the world. Uh, yeah. Like in, in the States, you know, Halliburton was quite big. And I think in the Middle East, Halliburton is big. So yeah. that all just depends on the companies and the contracts. But, you know, once they put this in, you know. That's it. it yeah, it's going to stay unless it's really serious. You can't get out now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no shouts. <laughs> Cementer, he runs this from computer in a room. In an office. <laughs> yeah. So obviously it doesn't have to be here to yeah, operate. Yeah, it's not being here. <laughs> like if he's running it, they'll put this, you know, we'll put a barrier up to keep it going in. In case something happens. These all, like these tanks, is all with the mud. Like I said, we use a, when we drilling, we use a shitload of mud. Yeah, okay. you know, so it comes out of the hole and through these shakers up here into these tanks. And like they take out the deep, you know, have a degasser. These pumps, like for degasser, or yeah. go for a, they they pump the mud through uh, equipment to take the solids, sand, and shit out. But that's Should be easy to drill. Yeah, as you drilling. You're pumping mud, a shitload of mud at high pressure, goes through the bit and then comes up outside outside the pipe, back up to I'll show you. But when it comes out, you know, you, you they, they watch the weight, they check the weight and how much shit is in the mud. And if it's got a lot of sand and shit, they have to clean it, you know, so they have the equipment, you know, uh, desander, desilter, stuff that will take the heavy solids. Right. Out of the mud. Does it happen to sometimes stuck or not? Yeah, you, yeah. yeah, you can definitely get stuck. Yeah, we've been stuck before and lose everything. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so the BOP, the BOP used to be in here. Okay. You sit on that rack. Right. And then you could run that rack like this one is it? Yeah. yeah. It's obviously been removed now, so. Yeah, it's all I'll say they come a new one. Yeah, we'll get a new one in. This is the BOP oh, yeah. crane. You know, you can come this way with it. Yeah. You come down on those arms, pick it up, pick it up like a forklift, come back out. And All right. So this is the hole when the when the pipe going down. Yeah, that's the drill, yeah, that's the drill floor. Yeah, that's that's the rotary. They call it the rotary. Rotary. Yeah, right. so it's the hole 
up to the drill floor. I know the NSC 121, the guy, he lose like kind of the metal bit from the last hole, the drop down. He dropped what? The, the drop that, you know that's, uh, that's two holes when they put around the um, pipe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They dropped it down. Yeah. Happened, huh? Oh yeah, they dropped many things to the road. <laughs> that's where it's right. That's where it's here, all right. And this, see this piece here, this is all one piece. Like one big box. Uh huh. You can pick it, these cables, these yeah. four cables. You could come down with pipe, hook to it. You can pick this up, and it will come all the way up. Hold and, together, right? Well, this that yellow floor. Yeah. Will be at this level here. Oh well. Then you skid everything in. You know, if you skid the whole cantilever in. Right now it's down. Yeah. You can see when we go outside. You you can see it's down. You know. <laughs> I will never think it is that many space inside here, you know? Huh? You, don't, you doesn't see from the outside there's like many no, no. space inside, you know? It's, it's, most rigs are not like this. This this is Insco came up with this idea that like say in in bad cold weather this is inside. Model design, right? Yeah, it's or, it, on a lot of rigs all this is open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Insco eighty was open or one or two I think. Yeah, yeah? one or two was open. Yeah, yeah. one or two was open, yeah, yeah I remember that. So th this is but the, this is close. That's good for uh, for so yeah. This, but this weather. Is the, like 120, 120, 121, 122, all the 120s are like this. Ah. Yeah. The good stories, huh? And they use these baskets. You know, they, they, when they pick up the BOP and put it on, they use these baskets to work on that ship to go out out there go with the BOP. But the new one coming in, yeah. Huh? New one just just gonna come, yeah. Yeah, the new one will come and they will put it on, you know, put it together over there. They won't go out there until we're ready to go to work. All right. Okay. Great stuff. For the mold, yeah. Right. And they go into these. These are the shakers, and they put screens. So what they shaking for, like for a bigger bits or? Mud, they clean the mud. Or clean them up. Takes all the sand and cuttings out. Be careful, it's open. But these screens like this, the mud come over. These things, when you turn them on, they, brrr, they right, vibrate right. real fast. And the mud goes over, and all the sand and solids will come over. You get rid of it. You should look for a, for a gold, there. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? They, they, they use it's the same, same things, same shakers they use when they're mining. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's where they started using these in, uh, in mining, looking for gold and shit like that. Maybe that Rick can look in for a gold, eh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if he finds some, he keep it. Check yeah, it out. <laughs> <and> stay there. <laughs> but like this, this, this is a. This machine can uh, tell you the. Actually, right now it's on zero. Yeah. But it can, it can, it, it will know the weight of the mud, how heavy, oh, the great. temperature, and how fast it's flowing. Oh wow! It uh, goes through this and has a sensor. But uh. Is that could be operated from the offices as well? Well, they can, they, can, they can see on the screen, on right. the computer screen. Okay. But they can, uh, they have one here. This is coming out. And then one downstairs in the mud pumps Same. is the mud coming in. And then they can measure, they say, okay, we know, we know the pumps are pumping so fast and we know it's coming back so fast. And they say, hey, it's coming back faster than we're pumping. So Something's they, wrong. <laughs> okay, so what means you, you have uh, maybe gas pushing the mud up. All oh, right, okay, okay. So you you know you maybe take a kick. So then will you have to do what like the thicker mode or something like that? The thicker mode. The, the thick one, or just well if you have if that's if you if you take a kick you have to shut the well in. All right, okay. You would taste and uh, have to usually make heavier mud weight. Right, right. It's hard to understand for the first time, but yeah, yeah. You know. But the main, main, the main thing I'm dealing with is, is mud, pumps, and handling your mud. Everything, everything is to do is, is with handling your mud. So if something breaks down, you've got to shut it down. Oh yeah, if you have a problem immediately. Problem with your pumps, a problem with your mud, you need to fix. Cool. You got upset now, yeah. Huh? We're going upstairs, you know, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay.
anyone here? No? Yeah, no, there's maybe somebody over there working on the belt. Okay. <laughs> but this, right now, they, you know, they're going to work on this top drive. They're going to pull the big motor out. They have scaffolding on it. Uh, uh, new motor <laughs> coming? Yeah, you see, uh, there's two motors on it. See, that part right there, the bottom, so they're big, big fucking motors. You see how you have two? Like yeah. That, that's one motor, that's one motor. Oh, there's a two of them, yeah. It's, uh, this is called a 1250. It's 1,250,000 pounds it can it, uh, handle. Yeah. Very powerful. And this, this piece over here, the yellow piece, yeah. that will come over, you can come over and, and grab a stand. Up, up top, you see that arm, it, it can come over, pick grab the it. stand up, and come over, and give it to the to driller. The driller latch onto it with the elevators. Okay. And then he take it, put it in the, in, to the rotary. And the rest you operated by the... Um, yeah, the driller will operate up there. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. He's like in a little bubble up there. And you know, right now, this, these are where they make the pipe up, where they screw it together, but the, 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 that machinery is out. That, you know, these... Yeah, yeah. They, they send in the shop. Get, you know, everything's trying, you know, they can rebuild whatever they can right now. Is that piece? See that red, that red piece there? Yeah, yeah. That's the machine that goes in there. Right. This, you know, they set a they set pipe on here. To and this can here. come in on these tracks. It can roll up and they can latch on and handle the pipe. But you know, when they're drilling, there's just fucking shitloads of pipe over there. The whole derrick can be full of pipe. I see that many times, huh? Hey. From the window. But if you go, uh, let me go up and look at the where the door. See how the, uh, the draw works? You know, that all the cable goes up, and that's what picks the block up and down. It's only one? Yeah, Part of one it. cable. But it goes up all the way to the crown. And then yeah, they're lifting it down. Yeah, it's drill hub, yeah. 16, 16 <coughs> feet lines up and down. <laughs> so when you're drilling, you see the uh, head drill. You can point in whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they can. Uh, you can study whatever, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have machines that tell they can have that'll give them. So it's, what's this kind of machines on their on their head? It's, it's just like almost like a, a almost like an airplane. They have a compass, and the compass it will tell them, you know, the angle. Yeah. And then they can tell you which way you want where to. Where you're at. They can <laughs> tell you like, say you know, say a circle is 360 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. This they can get to like one tenth of one degree. They can tell you, you know, where is that. And so, so now you know where it's facing, plus what the angle is, you know. <laughs> and then they they drill and they, they can, yeah, they got some pretty smart shit now. It wasn't that in the past, now. Huh? Usually, when the drillers, when you say like the directional, that's another company. That's usually like Summer J, uh, yeah. Weatherford. But they will have a screen up here too. He's already got many screens. They have another screen that would, that tool will tell him all that angle, azimuth, all that. And uh, okay, yeah. Jesus right, Christ. right now everything's pretty much turned off. But uh, you cannot run. Oh, he's got a dim. <laughs> so is that two chairs? 
another. Well, this is the driller. He runs. He he does the drilling. He runs this big yellow one. Yeah. And this is the AD. He runs that piece over there to get what I said. Get get the oh, pipe. Oh, the guy with the pipe and bring. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they. So always two people here. They have to work together. Right. When they're tripping pipe. That could be maybe easy, yeah, if, if you know how to use it. Well, it's yeah, but what's strange, like this, now that, you know, all this, you know, you're, 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 you are, you're in a bubble, you know, you cannot hear real good, and, and if the, the roughnecks, you have to talk by radio. Oh, you can't hear it. It's, it's fucking well. drive you crazy, you know, but compared to like the old, old rigs, the driller would be usually down on floor level and he'd have a manual break and oh, the, he could just open a window and hey you motherfucker do this you know <laughs> where here it's hard sometimes because it's almost like you're separate you yeah, know? yeah, yeah it's, I know. It's, yeah. it's hard to be yeah. controlled and, and you everything is screens you're looking at screens and 12 hours a day you're fucking with that it's just pretty soon sometimes you just lose track of things you know you know you yeah have after a, 12 hours watching the screen Jesus guys yeah this this is a uh, controls for the BOP. You know the so they can shut down from here this also. Is where yeah? you, this is where you control the, if you want to shut in the well or something. You know uh, he would have to you know stop his pumps, and stop moving the pipe, and then come over and you know close one of these. That's one the top one. You know. Hmm. Looks like a chair from the airplane, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this job is definitely not yeah, for I me. Right, right now, they cannot really run, cannot move anything, you know, because it's all isolated. And yeah. uh, so you can see that, you know, the cable. Yeah. Come off the draw, it goes up, then down, and down, down, round, 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 all, all sixteen lines, and then it goes over there. And that's the big main drum there. That's all the extra cable. Every now and then we have to uh, slip some cable off and yeah. cut it just to, you know, so to, you don't wear out one tape piece of cable. You know, when he says that, like, explain those things, it's, it's easy to listen, but probably for the first show it's going to be hard to work, huh? Eh? <laughs> to understand what's what's what. Yeah. But you must have experience, you know. Yeah, each rig they what come out with something, you know, they keep, they they keep coming out with newer and newer stuff. So, they, you know, uh, this is last year's model. <laughs> so he, you know, like I said, he sits here driving this, you know, when he's tripping pipe or drilling. So that's your chair? That's one of my asses. So How did you find out yourself after 12 hours watching in the monitors? I don't really sit in there for 12 hours. No? <laughs> I'll get a little break every now and then. Dave, like I, me, he me, gets, me. like, say, 9 <laughs> o'clock. Either me or the AD will relieve him. Uh, then he can, you know, lunchtime, he can get his lunch break. But always somebody have got to be here yeah. when it starts really. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you don't stop at all, no? No. 24-7 yeah. going. Whenever, yeah, whenever, whenever you're in operations, once you've started drilling, somebody has always got to be up here. How do you sit in here? Is that pull up? Or just... No, you just sit there. You, uh, these, these screens can open up. So. Oh, right, okay. I'm not sure exactly how. Yeah. Yeah. Especially a big fellow like myself. Yeah, big, big, yeah, big, big fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Open these two screens up. Just sit your ass down. That's you, huh? Then this joystick's usually for driving draw works. Got a uh, different buttons here for slips and top drive motions for our elevators and stuff like that. I can do usually do a few functions on here. I control mud pump speed, uh, top drive RPMs, how fast the top drive turns. I can uh, drive the main roughneck with it in auto form if I want to, and uh, I got things we call drill pipe tongs that's sometimes used to make up the pipe and I can control that with this joystick as well. But constantly watching on the monitors what's going on? Uh, with a lot of it, yeah. If we're tripping pipe, uh, the only monitors, I, I got some monitors for uh, monitoring the hole while we're tripping. Uh, drilling will have a screen up for tracking all my parameters and stuff while I'm drilling. So it might be like this screen right here. This tells me a lot of, I can set this up for a lot of different information. And uh, I got this screen over here that's pretty much for my draw works. That tells me how much weight I got on my string, um, my speed that my block's traveling at, and I got an automatic driller I can set up right
Uh, could you tell me, like, in, um, well, let's get one hour work, right? How far you can drill? <laughs> it, depends. it depends. It the, depends on the formation. If you got very, very soft formation, I can drill a couple hundred foot an hour easy. If we got real hard formation, sometimes you'll have to get one to five foot an hour. Right. So what's the process from the beginning drilling to the finish one one hole? Like? The, the process time-wise, right. for a typical well, like Three back from where, we, back where I, we're from and used to drilling, you could drill and complete a well damn near within a month. A month? A month. That's quick. A month. That's quick. Yeah, because it, it's a lot of soft formation. Over here, it usually takes about a couple months to get the get drilled because over here, it's a lot harder formation we found, and uh, they do a lot more technical Wells, is the weather as condition can confuse as well? What's that now? Weather condition that can... Uh, re weather condition really oh. doesn't affect this part no, of it. Not at all. Just the logistics side of it. Um, we can, 60 knot winds, we can stay up here and keep going, tripping, bike, drilling. Oh, well. Next time you come into the kitchen, I'll give you a tour in the guy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I control pretty much all this shit from here. Uh, the AD, mm -hmm. he'll sit in that chair. He'll, that big yellow thing that goes from all the way up there, it usually has a head on it, and that's what grabs the stands of pipes and gives it to me. So who's operate uh, that finny? That's, That'd uh, be the Roughnecks. Roughnecks. We can operate it from these chairs if we want to, but we got Roughnecks and I've got them work. So yeah, because it's going to be hard too much on our head. So uh, we let them run the floor, the equipment on so the they, floor. They can just about run everything from up here. From here. But sometimes it's better for somebody down there because they can see better and they're closer. Yeah. Oh, well. That must be quite funny here, huh? Do you get a coffee point here or no? Huh? Yeah, we got, usually have a little thermos back there. Have a little, okay. you can make hot water and make a tea or coffee. Not bad. We got cameras so you can see everything. We got seven different cameras on this rig. The system ain't really working that great. Yeah. But we got seven different cameras from the rig floor all the way to the top of the dirt. That lets me see. Everything points in the dirt. I can fucking look at a lot of shit on the rig. Yes, yeah, so obviously know. you're here. You can so, you can control about the whole of the rig, is it? So this one right here is for the shakers. I can see what's going yeah, on in the yeah, shakers. Yeah. It's gonna froze up. I think that both. I think he's something needs to be done with the camera system because he's ever since he's done yeah. that reboot, I can change cameras, but I can't function on it. Huh? But with this rig the way it is, from an older rig. An older rig, you only got one camera in the dirt. So this is much, much better rig, isn't it? Yeah, but you, you have to rely on the cameras on this one because your line of sight is not that great. But I'm sure in the future, the, um, some company will come with some new ideas, learning from oh, the well, past, what they ignore. Yeah, right now, they're coming up with yeah. new ideas. And now, yeah, chairs. with the brand new rigs, yeah. They got chairs, like I'm sitting right here, top drive's here, top drive goes up, they got chairs that will sit there and climb back as the top drive goes <laughs> up. Just so you're not sitting there looking up like this, getting repetitive neck, yeah. neck stress. They just fucking sit back. Like a game chair, is it? Yeah. Yeah, you something's fucked up with it. Yeah, see, they can go with four screens. Yeah. You can dip four, but it won't stay there. There's something wrong with it. So actually, you can operate and they come out of Yeah, usually, it's stuck usually now, yeah? you can scroll up, scroll down, look around. So there's something, uh, something wrong with it. Yeah, I'll get a column to look at it. Are they done with the dishwasher yet? Yeah. Well, they're done, but still leaking in the back. <laughs> still leaking? Yeah, some some pipe hey, in the back is calling. broken. Nick, he's calling around. You don't know where he is. That's your, like, left-hand man. No. So you know what I showed you, that Up there. All right. The, those oh, fingers. Yeah. Well, the pipe. Let me the guy running this chair, like I say, he goes and gets the pipe. Yeah. Or he puts it back. This is the same... Just that's is that up there, and right now there's only one stand, one piece of pipe. Yeah, yeah. is this one there? Yeah. That's where that green one is. These cameras that you fix. Okay. So and so he he was gonna try to go get that stand. He would, you know, get Point the machine it. working, and he would tell it he wants yeah. to go get that one, and I, it will I go get that. Get automatically, yeah. yeah. Pipe whatever they want, yeah. 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 But I cannot turn. Hmm. So it's better for you be here or in office do paperwork? What do you prefer? I, I spend more my time here. Here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not very, I don't I like the office too much. <laughs> I don't like office also. 
know, when, when, when we're actually operating, I'm, I'm usually outside, either here, you know, down on the, mud, you know. Of course, it's much more interesting to be here and look at what's going on. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm, supposed to be, I'm supposed to be in touch with him and, and you know. Uh, All the time when I'm here, yeah. yeah, on the shift. You come and look at it on your camera? What's that? They're going to fix it on your camera? Hey, he's going to come up and have a look at it. Okay, then. Cool. What's the time? You've got time here? Yeah, it's 1.30. 1.30, oh, right. What's the time? 1.45. 15 till 2. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, Colin's coming up and have a look at the camera. This, this control, okay. catwalk shuttle machine, they call it. So just one guy standing and operate the yeah. stuff, yeah? and you know, it's dirty as hell, yeah, so they yeah, get yeah. That's And they, I don't know what this costs, fucking eighteen, twenty thousand $20,000 or something. For that know? thing? Yeah, a piece of plastic. <laughs> Why everything for offshore is expensive? Yeah. So they always complain, you know, if the roughnecks don't take care of it. You know, it's, they're always... That's the worst thing up here. Is they, make, they make it sound like the roughnecks always fucking shit up. <laughs> but you know, everything catches hell up here. Everything is a roughnecks fault, huh? They will probably work on. We we'll just check everything out while they're in the shipyard. Ah, because that'll screw off, yeah. Yeah, they're everything ready to come yeah. off. They took the handles out, broke all the bolts. But they wait for uh, NOV okay. to come out and they check it. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to be ready for the next nurse contract, huh? This next contract is uh, it's gonna be interesting anyway. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. <laughs> it's what they call high pressure, high temperature. <laughs> it's gonna put some more a lot more equipment. Floor, it can skid this way, go uh -huh. back and forth, and like this whole piece here, the yellow piece, yeah, it will move. We have like it will, the crane will pick up that end, and we can skid rig floor this way, so the cantilever can come out, and then this rig floor, the whole derrick, will go side to side. It can go maybe, say from center, it can go 15 feet either direction. So like when you get up, you know, the skid out and then you re push the rig floor over nice and you need to. Huh? <laughs> see if you look here you can see at least what I Get a better view of that, but you know, like say, you still, so this yellow floor it can get it can move back and forth depending on where the rig floor is. Okay. Because the rig floor, you know, like say, it can skid back and forth to to line up with the well. So if you skid, the whole cantilever come out, then you stop, you know, and then you you know if you do what you need to to do this way to line up right on the well. And then you can move a little bit and then you can, another one. Yeah, you can yeah, skid over. Yeah, without, without move the whole rig. Yeah, Just yeah. move it out parts. Yeah. These rigs, the good about their strong, but the, the older rigs, the more you skid over, or the more you skid out, that, you limited, that limited how much you could pull. All right, okay. Uh, uh, so you lose, you lose the power. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you With know, there's too much, you know, you could fuck up. Uh, you're only good for so much pull. You know, and the smaller rigs, I mean, like I say, these rigs are pretty, they would still affect you some. Like if you skid way off center, it's going to affect how much the driller can pull on that pipe. But this still is much, much better. Yeah, yeah. Better designed. So much, 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 like I say, everything's bigger, heavier. But even the AT-102, that was a smaller rig compared yeah. with this one. This is huge. This looks nearly like a platform. 
Yeah, it's, it makes it, it's, it, it's funny though, like I remember when I, when I first came here, I was like, oh, motherfucker, you know what? <laughs> but then after a while, some of the stuff, like this crane, is way too big. It's so big that you cannot function sometimes. Right. But did you think that maybe that make it that big, so make a more heavy platform, make it well, more I, stability? I think maybe the same style crane they use in bigger, bigger areas. Oh, yeah. And they, they said, oh, yeah, well, we want a crane this strong, put it here, we'll just make this rig. But like I say, right now, it's... You cannot go any farther this way, right? Uh -huh. But right now, it's like the rotary... You can move right left. Yeah, no, yeah. you cannot come out. If you, had, if you were rigged up and you had your BOP... Down there. You would not have six inches to play with. That's no. But anyway, you can drill on that rig whatever you want, huh? <laughs> yeah. On any condition. Singapore make a good job. <laughs> so, if you look down, you see um, the big, big hydraulic cylinders. Yeah. There's one, <laughs> two, there's two very big ones. That's what skids everything in and out. You got one, two, and then over on the other side you have two. And we, we can go look at where the driller or whoever wants to skid can control. Oh hell, while we're here, you can see. You can ask. Like these bolts. Usually they're a little loose because they're just, they're just like clamps, but this is oh, where they you moved. can fly, yeah. Right. Right now they have this pin, this is a safety pin that goes in the it's hole. In that hole, so block it. So, yeah, right now it's locked. Okay. Uh, you can lock it um, only manual or? No, you would have to manually. Manually. Yeah. But like I say, right now, this is the center line, they call it. In the center, right. And it's this, so this is, this part moves, this part does not. No, it's only, but yeah. But now you are lined up center, basically. Cool. <laughs> and that's, if you were to open that up, that's going to have uh, hydraulic handles. That's where he would be operating these cylinders. You know, so, so he you can move left or right. Yeah, yeah, this pin, this cylinder, you know, comes out. And this pin, when it gets lined up with the hole, it, boom, it'll fall in that hole. And then he operates the other way, and the hydraulic will either pull it or push it, whichever way you uh, want to go. And to block the drill floor. Yeah, it will move the whole drill floor. So you can move this whole, the whole derrick, everything. See, I didn't know that. I've been, you can move with this. I've been thinking only the drill, drill floor coming uh, backward yeah, and yeah. forward. Yeah? No, and then move left, right. Jesus. <laughs> then score one or two doesn't have that. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, did have. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe we didn't go to that point. Yeah, there, there but, were. I mean. It was a little different, but uh, yeah, it had it. Um, every cantilever rig, every cantilever rig is going to have, which cantilever is that big part, but the delta, you know, the substructure will move. Okay. Right. But you know, like I say, if if you're moving this, you need the whole crew down here watching and checking because you can fuck up in a heartbeat. You know, if you if you if you do not get everything out of the way when you hit it. Something's gonna bend, you know, or something will bend or break. Better not. <laughs> What's the weight of that platform? Hey? What's the weight of this oh, platform? Oh shit, I'd have to look in the books. You're talking about the weight of, of the... So 40,000 ton? I'd have to look in the books, I don't need it. I don't ever remember that. Well, they have lots of metal here. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can look in the, the manual that will give you the, the whole the whole ring. It'll tell you how much, just like a ship, it'll tell you yeah. how much displacement.
believe that. So, you know, when I showed you down there, they showed the, the pumps for the mud. And then these tanks, you have like a, each tank, there's a one, two, three, four tanks that, that the mud it comes uh, through. Come on here. And How then you take from a mud from the, from the boat outside or? Well, it comes from downstairs. So you have some big mud pits. Right. And the big mud pumps pump. And then this, this is all coming out of the hole through all this shit. This is a big ditch. So the mud comes through come here, here and they've got these gates you can go. And then once it leaves here, it will start go outside. And there's a big ditch on the main deck, a big, big flow line. Then it goes down to the mud pits downstairs. So uh, what's about the power on that rig? Is it uh, made by diesel engine? Yeah, it's a big, yeah, yeah, diesel generator. There's six, six generators down there. And usually you run, say, right now we're running two. Because I'm not yeah. But when you are drilling, it's fucking loaded up. Uh, Probably have to have four, four to five. Four so two is per one in case something happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah they could, they could run on one right now with just the lights. But uh, yeah, of course. This is where the uh, cementer runs his unit from. Right. You got little computers in there and shit, joystick. <laughs> hang up on when you when yeah when you're moving yeah, yeah. So, you remember what I told you that piece will come down yeah yeah you can see it turned into no light so now it's down yeah yep that whole piece you pick it up it's going up and it will be this level here so you can come in One big elevator on a room on an elevator. <laughs> Some believe you must be very busy when you're drilling. Yeah, when you when you're drilling, yeah, it's very busy. You must be careful over here. Okay. Same kind of thing out there on the floor. Right there. Yeah. One, two, and then, uh, right now, seventy-five feet or? Yeah, we're seventy feet out right now. Seventy feet. How far you can go? Eighty. You can go. Yeah, right around eighty would be max. And you this is. Go, you can maybe go eighty-four, something like that. So obviously, but very rarely go past 80. You cannot go past that uh, that big clamp at the end, right there. Okay. No, good. No. Także mam nadzieję, że ci tutaj wszyscy, którzy angielski mają mniej więcej załapali o czym tam była mowa podczas tej przechadzki przejdziemy jeszcze się na zewnątrz a tu już do góry nie muszę się ubierać specjalnie pokażę wam jak wyglądają łodzie ratunkowe takie tam inne bzdury jeszcze o.